What's going on, y'all? We're back with another episode, TB4Y. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to the October season, dude. Yeah, bro. I'm it's finally right. about that fucking time, bro. I'm saying, bro. This is the best time of year, I swear to God. Yeah, I love it, man. It has to be. I love like, it. Because even though I was saying it earlier when we was in the car, like... like Dead even- body skeleton. <laughs> 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 nah just uh about like how it's hella it will be like not let me not say hella hot but it's hot during the day yeah and then yeah it gets fucking frosty Crispy at night yeah night, I, love, you know I, love that shit. So I love that shit i think that's like the cool medium you yeah, know what i yeah, mean so yeah, it's like yeah. it keeps the fucking summertime weirdos happy and it keeps us yeah. you know chill motherfuckers cool too bro what's one like when it comes to like october time yeah what's one thing you think you miss most as a kid from like October time Ooh. or Halloween time, yeah, Halloween Whatever. time. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Spooky season, yeah, spooky season. Yeah, I mean, ah, man. Honestly, I'll probably just say like, because I would always, uh, you know, my grandma would always be downstairs and shit when I was like a little ass kid. So she would be watching something. Like she would always have like cartoons on because mm-hmm. she knew I wanted to watch it. So you know, because I used to watch like Animal Planet and shit with her all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she put on, uh, it would be like Cartoon Network or whatever the hell. And you know how they would always the play scary all godmother the, shit. Exactly, yeah, they would yeah. play all of the Halloween themed episodes and stuff I like that, that all in a row. You know what I mean? I love when Cartoon Network and them would do that shit, bro. Hell yeah. Just be, you know, and uh, I would watch those with my grandma, bro. And I would just be sitting there. She'll be like cooking in the kitchen, make me like some soup or something. You know what I mean? It's cold out. Side, yeah, yeah it just hit different bro or i mean just honestly just like yeah i would probably say just the media like tv and everything like that yeah. just kind of made it feel different you know what i mean like how they used to do like uh spooktober or whatever the yeah, fuck yeah, for yeah, disney yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah. that you know and they would change the disney sign and make yeah, it look God. all frankenstein and shit yeah that shit was hard you know yeah <laughs> yeah i do remember the little know, frankenstein. he's like yeah. getting, he's getting zapped and yeah. like walks over to the screen <laughs> and shit <laughs> yeah that shit was going crazy well uh, what about you though yeah i don't know i'm I really mostly miss, like, not really giving a fuck and, like, being able just to throw on any costume yeah. and going trick-or-treating and shit and like that. Trick- I'm going to miss trick-or-treating trick or for treating, sure, for sure. Yeah. And I guess the only way we'll be able to experience again is, like, when we kids, have kids yeah. or something like that. You I know? mean, what's stopping us now? Mm-hmm. Hey, this Halloween? Let's do it. Because we got our costumes already for the, the, for the, Halloween the episode of yep, shit. Yep, like, yep. And then I, was, I put it on. And I was like, there's no fucking way I'm going to I'd be able house. to go out in public yeah. with this fucking costume on, yeah. bro. Like, that costume is only going to be worn in this <laughs> in room. This and then I'm taking this shit off right <laughs> after, bro. Like, I'm not going to wear this one out, bro, because it's so fucking, like, goofy, bro. Like, and I'm looking at the dude on the cover of the fucking yeah. Halloween costume. I'm like, bro, like, tell can you. you imagine being at a Halloween party yeah. and, and seeing like that, that guy? That would be true comedy, bro. I'm telling you, we're seeing fucking me, dude. That would be, I mean, like, good on, good on people who aren't, like, ashamed, you know, they wear, like, a crazy, goofy-ass costume and shit, but I don't know, sometimes it's, like, it's be, it'd be a little it's too a much. little t- the one that i have i feel like to be it's a yeah. little it's a little I too feel like, much i feel like i feel like that you're just like if you were going out to like a halloween party or something like that yeah you're I always gonna keep the mask on yeah. you're just gonna like wear the suit and she have the gloves <laughs> you, you know what yeah, i mean that's kind of cool yeah, oh God, you know? yeah yeah and then you know i don't no know no one's but, gonna see my identity the yeah, whole party bro. i swear to god bro. you know what i mean unless it's like a party that's like it's like my only my homies are gonna be there and shit God, yeah. then maybe it'd be funny i'll i'll pull up in the costume and shit yeah you feel me but if it's like an actual like function I'm not can't. gonna yeah, be oh god to, yeah i can't, I can't i'm bro. not pulling up like that bro <laughs> I can't. you know what i mean throwing out a deck of cards and shit <laughs> oh spoiler dude. i know they don't know yeah they're definitely true, not gonna know that's mine true, that's true. you know they might think i'm fucking being steve a- uh what's that nigga's <laughs> name chris angel or some shit. yeah that's actually a good one you know yeah, or david one. blade yeah yeah you know? maybe i'm david blade maybe you're chris angels thank you mm. Are we, we're magicians this year yeah they don't know that would actually be kind of tight houdini houdini yeah you gotta punch me in the stomach I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Hey, nah, hey, but tell hey, me this though. R. P. To R. P. I know, Houdini, bro. I know, bro. Yep, they're lot. doing magic, baby. Yeah, he's still up there, bro. Yeah, oh God. Slide of hand shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. God be like, hey, he doing it again, bro. <laughs> you know, that's why. That's why we let him up here. Yeah, God. Yeah, you know he's a mean? good time. Yeah, yeah, on me. But no, nah, I was even gonna ask you though, since we're talking about like Halloween and like you know, kind of costumes and shit. Bro, we did this, like, I think in the beginning of the podcast, and people can go back and find this episode. It's, like, one of the hidden gems. It's only on the TikTok, too. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, we were saying, like, what was the worst Halloween costume versus the best, I think? Yeah, yeah. And I think we just did the I worst. I think we just did the I worst. Think we yeah, did we was talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? There was hella motherfuckers mad, because they were sitting there, had those exact costumes mm. already laid out for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. They were sick. But what, what would you say, bro? Okay, let's say a new for updated, this year. A new updated 2023 timeline. worst costumes. What do you think? And let's do this. 
what costumes do you think are gonna get spammed this year? I was gonna year say, too? I was gonna say, I, I don't know about worst, but I, what do you think I are think gonna get spammed? Do, I could do the most predictable costumes. Yes, we're for sure gonna see a lot of Barbies and Ken. Why was I gonna say Barbie and Ken? A hundred percent. We were thinking we were about being do Ken. Fucking, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I got. two different Ken. So we could be. I think Barbie and Ken is gonna be crazy. I think Ghostface is gonna go crazy a lot this year. You think he goes so? crazy well, every year? Goes crazy every year. I know, yeah. but I think this year because the newest one just came out like last year, I think. Yep, yep. So I think maybe people are gonna. Oh, I forgot to say, there's gonna be so many girls out of Wednesday. Oh yeah! Are you kidding Fuck me? Fuck yeah! Wednesday is gonna be crazy everywhere, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm trying oh to think of something. God. But no, you're we're, right. We're, we're gonna see a lot of Barbies. I think we're gonna see a lot of uh, like Luffy. One oh, Piece I was gonna guys. say we're gonna see a lot of Gear Fives. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of Gear Fives. Yeah. That's actually kind of hard. Though. Oh, I know, God, God. Yeah. Someone could really do a good Gear Five costume. It's good on you, bro. Oh, but I think we're gonna see it a lot. So some of them are gonna look a little goofy, a little better dirty. than others, you yeah. know. Oh, God. <laughs> but damn, what's another? I think we're going to see a lot of Miles and uh, Spider-Punk and, uh, you know, Spider-Gwen shit like that. I think we're gonna oh, see a lot yeah, of those I forgot guys. to even say. You know what's crazy? I wanted to do it, bro. Spider-Punk? I wanted to do Spider-Punk. Yeah. I was like, bro, that would have been hard. I've seen some costumes maybe, 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 maybe another year. Maybe yeah, another year. I mean, because, uh, you know, the movie come out, hopefully. I think it comes out in two years. The next one, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah probably around yeah, Halloween time, yeah, yeah. maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, who, who knows, knows how it goes. But, no, uh, yeah, you know, that's think, facts. Um, I think those... I'm trying to think of some... I'm just trying to think of shit that came out this year that's like yeah. really, really big that a lot oh, of people are going to want to... We're probably going to see a few Navis. Really? I think so, yeah. I, I think we might think see a couple. See, I don't think we're going to see any Navis. You don't think we're going to see Navis? We're going to see a lot of Little Mermaids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Little mermaids sure. gonna, gonna go see, crazy. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of little. Yeah, mermaids. we're gonna see a lot of little little mermaids. We're gonna see a lot of grown little mermaids too. Um. You know what's crazy? I don't think we're going to see a lot of Marvel this year. No. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see a lot of people dressed Maybe up some as. Lokis? You think we'll see some Lokis? In the TVA? With the suit? With the little... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. think we might see some of those. You think we might see a couple Mobius? We might see a couple Mobius. I think that'd, that'd be, be kind of cool. Hard, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you Loki yeah. on Mobius? Yeah. We should have dressed up as Owen Wilson. Like, you're Lightning McQueen or know, something. Yeah, and yeah, I'm and fucking... Yeah. 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 Um, what's, another, what's another good Owen Wilson character? Uh, I mean, Mobius? I'm Mobius. Fuck You're it. Mobius, yeah, yeah, it's cool. yeah, that's, that's cool. That's the only one that's on top of my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or uh, from um, what's that? What's that shit called? Uh, him and uh, him and Vince Vaughn. What's that movie called? Wedding Crashers. Yeah, him and uh, Wedding Crashers. You can bit. be him and Wedding uh, That's a little basic. I mean, yeah. I'd rather be Dukes of Hazard or Owen Wilson. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or um, Drobit. I would be Joe Bit Taylor. Yeah, yeah that'd actually be, be Yeah, that'd actually be hard as fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, my guy actually got bangers. Yeah, like, come on, bro. Oh, Wilson, bro, he's goaded, bro. Come on, bro. God, bro. God, but nah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, this year was a little tricky because, like, last year, bro, we was able to come up with a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be real. But, okay, we can still do the normal ones that we see every year that the couples are kind of lazy oh, yeah. or, you know, people just are lazy. We're still going to see Joke. Are we still going to see Harley Quinn? Yeah. I think do you think we're still going to see 2016 Suicide we Squad, might see a Harley couple. Quinn, and Joker? We might see a couple. If we see a couple, you're out of your <laughs> fucking mind for still doing that one, bro. Let's be real. <laughs> Maybe not Jared Leto Joker, but. What, Joaquin Phoenix? There was, see, walk, no, there was a lot of walk. No, there was a lot of walk. That was last year. Yeah, yeah last year. Maybe some Batman's. Who knows? Mm. You think we we'll see any flashes this year? If we do, that's surprising. Blue Beatles. Bro. We might see a couple Blue I don't think Beatles. So. Maybe. I think that's a far, stretch. That's a stretch, yeah, bro. Maybe, I don't, I don't think it's gonna. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of miles for sure. There's yeah, miles. we didn't yeah, say that. Yeah, I said Miles, uh, Spider Gwen, all the all the oh, Spider people. Oh, I thought you just said the. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I was gonna say Spider Punk for sure is gonna be. Yeah, that one's gonna yeah, be everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jeez. Can't really so think of it. Yeah, I'm trying. There's to... so many people that probably ordered it the minute the shit. The movie Hell yeah! Like, as soon as we go, oh, yeah, definitely doing Spider Punk. <laughs> yeah, they already knew since fucking you know. Yeah, I mean, if you could pull, I seen this one dude do a dope ass cosplay where he, I know he had like he, his hair yes, outlined with like yes. he's like yeah, and it's like actually tied as fuck. Everybody knows who we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think everyone's seen it when it came on Twitter. and He had like probably the best cosplay for that. For sure, for sure. To be so real, that's crazy. All right, what do you think is gonna be? What are some bad ones? <sighs> just bad co- Halloween costumes. You know, it's one that I always think is weird. Mm. Just the full, the full suit. You know, what I'm talking about when people wear like the full like jumps, single color oh, suit. Oh yeah, shit? yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about, and it's just like black or yeah, it's just, like or green yellow. or some shit. It's yeah. like you're kind of a perv. Yeah, God. I mean, you know, I always think about that shit too. You have nothing, but you're <laughs> like, just like in your boxers, bro. Dude. What the fuck is you yeah, want, yeah, man? Yeah. What, know, what even are you? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's lazy. Like that one's lazy. I think the people that would just like wear the t-shirt that says like costume is lazy. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know, or this is my costume. I don't really I see, see one of those at Winko. I don't really see that. I mean, I won't remember that. But I think people who who do that are kind of like, come on. Yeah, what
By like sixth, seventh grade, I was too cool to fucking dress up. You said you were too cool? I wasn't in full costume sixth, seventh grade for sure. Nah, really? Sixth, seventh grade, I was not in a full fit. Swear to God. That's when I started going that's to when you just mask started doing and the just mask. Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. So you were one of those niggas. Yeah, I was one of those Jesus, guys. You yeah, suck, I'm dude. one of those guys. Oh, my God, bro. I was still full costume. Yeah, yeah you're cool. Bit, yeah. yeah, that's actually kind of cool, man. That's cool, bit, man. For me, I ain't going to count. I don't know. Maybe sixth grade. Sixth grade, maybe I had a, I had a costume sixth grade. Yeah. And then seventh grade. But seventh grade, I was too old for that shit already. Yeah, it's too late. I was like, it's too late. But I don't think sixth grade, I even had a costume, but to be honest with you. Did you ever have a full costume in high school? Never. Yeah, I don't think I in high school it. never. Yeah, I, don't I think, think the I most did. from sixth grade all the way up to the last year when we dressed up yep. as the to, as the Demon Slayer the guys was a, like that fat gap. I had no, no like costume. actual costume. Yeah. I think the most I would do, I'd go and buy like a onesie. Mm, okay. Like I had like a onesie that looked like uh like Bugs Bunny and shit. Oh uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh my god, you're so cool. Yeah, I did one, one of those. those yeah, I was one of those guys. Too. Yeah. That's <laughs> Damn. I don't know, bro. I don't know why. Like we just kind of fall off. I mean, I think it's just kind of the stigma. Yeah, because I'm just, just like, nigga, it, what are you doing? Yeah, it's a, it's, you know? it's kid shit, bro, for sure. You know what I mean? So it's like when you get there's a weird age, like even during like high school or like you know what I mean, like eighth grade or whatever the fuck, where it's like if you're out like actually trick or treating, mm. like you're you're a nerd. Yeah, you're a loser. Yeah, that's that you know what I mean. Good. Yeah, especially during like eighth grade, it's like, bro, if you're really like getting in a full fit, full you're costume, just, you're and used to go get candy, and today. you're actually going to get, you have an actual like pail. Yeah, you have an actual like uh, treat bag and shit. It's like. You have a bucket? Yeah, it's like, bruh, come on. Because I think I just use, like, a backpack. backpack. Yeah, I would use a backpack or I would just use, like, a what call it, pillowcase. A grocery bag or, a pill- yeah, a pillowcase yeah. is cool, too. Yeah, but yeah. I think I would just, yeah, I'd just have a backpack, black hoodie, yeah. mask, mask, and then, like, black pants on or something like that. And it's true comedy. Whatever, but like. you were still trick-or-treating around that Yeah, time. but I will still, like. But you were just too cool for the costume. And also, during that time, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for this, right. but, like, when I was a kid, like, we would just go and, like, smash pumpkins and shit and, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, bro, I don't even... We're you know, like, take the we webs know. off someone's we bush and, and then, like... This. I mean, this is so many years ago. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Real, like, I remember f- even... Bro, I remember me and the homies would do this shit, too. We would go to people's houses and we would, like, trade some of their stuff. That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like, we'd take, like, somebody's, like, <laughs> yeah, mat, yeah, you know, yeah, the welcome yeah. mat. <laughs> we'll go and we'll switch their shit. We'll take, like, their plants and, like, uh, it'll be, like, a vase, like, with a plant in it mm-hmm. and shit. We'll move it to somebody else's house and then we'll put the other one over there. Yeah, y'all really did their actual, like, shit that they had or like yeah. we would just do the like core. Yeah, yeah like their pumpkins like we'll get breast pumpkins and put it like on his across the street neighbor's house or yeah. something like that just because it was so funny to me to imagine like he wakes he up wakes in the morning up. and he's like why the fuck are my pumpkins on my ne- neighbors they're my neighbors yard across yeah. the street and they're not smashed or anything <laughs> yeah. it's like perfectly sat over there <laughs> yeah and that's I why so i thought that was true comedy the fact of i don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow morning when they yeah, both yeah, you know, yeah. wake up and they're just like, what It's all hell? just in my imagination. Yeah. Like, who, who knows? What's going to happen? Yeah, who you know? knows? We might have just started some bullshit, <laughs> some crazy shit. You know? Or like some of my, like, like some of my friend's house who like didn't happen to hang out with us that night mm. would go and smash their pumpkins. Yeah, bro. See, Which is kind of weird because it's like, it's our friends, but yeah. we would like grab the pumpkin, like smash it in front of their front door or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. And then like true. pile it all up in one big ass clump <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. See, that's crazy. I don't know. I mean. Shit, but I know we cool, bro. We ain't, we ain't finna get Nah, it, yeah, I was yeah, a fucking yeah, yeah. Was little years ass ago. kid, bro. Yeah, I mean, that, was on, ten, bro. that was more than 10 years ago. Yeah, you can't throw me Damn, in jail. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, We're old, huh? I know. We're <laughs> age, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, but now, hey, speaking of like lock, getting locked up and shit like that, bro, did you even hear? And we talked about this a while ago, probably like six, seven episodes ago, about how they were trying to put robot police in San Francisco. Yeah. Nigga, they actually now are starting to do it. And they said it's a, a test right now, like a test program for in it. Uh, in New York. Yeah, they, they're finna put the robots out there. That is hella interesting. That's you see crazy. what it looks like? Yeah, it looks like, um, you know what it looks like to me? Go ahead. You ever watch Futurama? Yeah. It looks like the robot who's a priest. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, but just crazy. not able to walk and yeah. move his arms and shit. But, but just yeah. the build. It looks I'm like a dome. Yeah, it looks like it's a... It's like a dome kind of shape Yeah, like yeah. You know what I mean? They say the motherfucker weighs like fucking 800 pounds or something crazy, bro. Yeah, and then they said... um it has a 360 camera, nigga. Yeah, that's HD. Crazy. I heard it doesn't record sound. Yeah, no, they Which said you have to press. You know, no, no, you have to press a button to record sound. I was like, bro, that's cap. No, I'm dead ass. Yeah, they showed it too on the video. You have to press a button to record. There's the sound. no way they're letting that thing out there without recording sound. Exactly. Oh, yeah, true. They just try to make. Oh, I know yeah. what you're saying. There's okay. no yeah, 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 way. Yeah, you're right. Are you you're kidding right. me? That doesn't bro? make any sense. Yeah, you're right. What the fuck, bro? Right. So that means I could be behind the motherfucker. Yeah. Silently take yeah. down this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about doing a crazy ass yeah. drug trade or and some I, shit. But they even said if anybody tries to fuck with it, you're going
What if I just throw a big ass blanket over it? I think it's gonna start to malfunction or something. You know what I mean? Like if I just throw a big ass king size blanket, the yeah. one of those one like thick ones, one of those thick ones with yeah. a fucking tire Rough on it and it. shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this shit it's not gonna get that motherfucker off by itself, yeah, bro. It won't. It's it can roll around. It go. It can, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, gonna go like the yeah. hit by a car. Yeah, yeah, and that's gonna be a collision because eight hundred pounds. Oh, that car that gets hit is gonna be destroyed. Uh, yeah, bro, that's crazy. But what pounds. else? So it's just pretty much just a glorified snitch, right? Yes. It just kind of just rolls around and just yeah, snitches yeah, on you yeah, and shit, yeah. huh? Yeah. I don't know if it has any built-in things, but I'm being real, bro. This is just the start. It's though. got a built-in taser so or I, maybe I'm a... pretty sure it does, but tell me this, though. Where do you think this can go then? Because right now, we have an 800-pound little fucking toaster running around. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, a little toaster snitch. What do you think this can become? Because they said this is just a test. And they said that the robots are going to be out with their human partner. That's that's so such a weird, weird, you know, that we're even in a time that we're saying shit like that. I don't know how that's gonna, how well that would go because if, so if they're trying to make it so like part like a partner can be like a human can be a partner with another human, like yeah. on the force. Yeah. What happens if I'm a cop, I got my robot sidekick, right? We we hit a fat ass fucking I don't know, fat ass warehouse with a drug trade going on there or some shit, and I get shot. Yeah. What I mean, the but fuck? then again, uh, I mean, even worse. What if he gets shot with a water gun? <laughs> Let's be real, though, nigga. No, for real. I don't though. think a water gun is good. They super probably, soaker. They <laughs> super soaker. I think they made it so it's <laughs> waterproof, bro. I'm just making sure, nigga. There's super no soaker way. might malfunction, that nigga. If a super soaker could take that motherfucker down, that's crazy. I've seen some crazy super soakers, bro. Yeah. You you, you ever seen that one online, bro? It's this dude. He puts like. Bro, I'm telling you, it shoots like a real bullet. It's bruh. like automatic, like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it yeah. shoots the water at mock speed, nigga, hella fast, bro. So I'm like, bro, imagine that. <laughs> yeah, going crazy. Doming that, yeah, nigga, yeah, bro. Yeah, and that's yeah. his kryptonite. Yeah, a little bit I don't, liquid. Know, I don't know how that will work, bro. You know? Because it's like there's already crazy shit with police doing weird shit. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, I seen videos where like another police will like, like tell another like, hey, bro, like check on another like, hey, bro, like check him and shit, like, yo, yeah. stop that weird shit you're doing. You know what I mean? You're like arresting someone for some dumb shit. Mm. But if there's a robot, you know what I mean, as his partner, he could just be like, hey, yeah, come over here, come over here with me, like around this side of the car, yeah, and start beating the fuck out of him and shit while the cop is on the the robot cop is over there checking his yeah. plates or some shit. Oh God, that's what's crazy. I mean, so I'm just saying, bro, it's like you got to think about it, bro. If we're trying to delegate these jobs to cold machines it's gonna be worse than these idiots right now no yeah. offense you know what i mean i ain't saying every cop idiot but yeah you know yeah, yeah. I mean? a lot the, of them are the ones that are yeah you know that just trigger happy or whatever the fuck you know all that type of shit it's like yeah this robot might be a little bit more on point but it might not be playing no games with none of us it's like you know what i mean you might be in the middle of the night trying to sell just a you feel me 10 sack man and it's just like this bro. you just see a fucking red and yellow light just <laughs> shine i mean red and fucking blue light shine on you hell yeah. hard. you go what the, what the fuck? fuck is that all you hear is you're under arrest and it's hella Robo loud. Robocop ass. Robocop, nigga, just standing there. Don't move. See, I don't think it'll get to that point where it's like Mike. they're walking around and because no, this thing they said it's gonna shit. be out for like it's gonna be out basically patrolling for like I think three days straight or like I think they said 24 hours or something like that. It might be just a day or something I think, like that, but it's it's just going for the entire day. I think for now they're just gonna be like patrol. Snitch. They're just gonna be patrol bots. Yeah, yeah, facts, yeah, yeah, facts. yeah. But maybe down the line, maybe That's they might have saying. some shit. They might build in some shit, so it's like. This motherfucker could, like, throw off, like, a flashbang or some shit like that. You know what I mean? To, like, stun, like, people around him or something. Or See, that's the thing. I don't know if they would be able to do that unless someone is controlling it. I mean, Like, well, at the station. Like, if someone's at the station yeah. controlling that shit, mm -hmm. like, moving it around. I mean, bro, I think it's going to get to a point where it's like, okay, the people aren't going to keep just allowing things to just happen. Because think yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, There's yeah. so many other places. Like, bro, in China... Uh, recently, they've been fucking like wiling out there, bro. You know what I mean? To the point where they had to like just start putting tanks in the streets. That's crazy. You feel me? I'm telling you, I, I seen this shit like recently because they were um, they were rioting and shit like that. I don't know what it's for right now. Oh, but riding over there, huh? you feel, which is crazy, bro. Like, what's happening? What's yeah. going on? And the fact that they even are looking at it like, okay, now we have to bring heavy artillery to this shit That's because crazy. our normal police cannot just yeah, defend us, right? It. Even though out here we got strap and shit like that. I don't know if they have um, if they use uh, guns in China. I don't think they do. I, I think it's just batons and shit. Yeah. I might be wrong. I think that's just certain places in Asia. Um, I think also Japan and shit. I don't think they use guns either. But, yeah, I don't think so, yeah. But nah, you feel me? And then even in, uh, I think it was Tijuana recently. Did you even hear about this shit? This isn't even my story. This is some shit I just remember I talking about dumb. Bro, recently, nigga, for the longest time, people did not know what was happening inside of this one jail. And then apparently, bro, 
they find out like um this other group of police i think they were from somewhere else they end up finding out that the prisoners like overran the whole prison and they're running it and they're running it bro and i'm pretty sure they have these niggas like locked up in the cells That's that they crazy. once were in and bro when they they bring like over like some fat number it was over a thousand uh police officers that they had to rush in there bro and basically stop this shit that was That's happening wild. and what they find is fucking insane bro they they had like a cafe they had a fucking zoo in there bro how did they do this mike the fuck i swear to god you can look this shit up on everything they had animals in there they had animals in there yeah bro they had a zoo like a bunch of other things bro. that's crazy yeah and they ended up like i i don't know if they even shut it down already but yeah bro they ended up overthrowing the that's fucking so the prison. fucking wild bro like how and they did it without people knowing them there. Yes, and for the longest time nobody knew. For hell, bro, crazy. think about it. This had to be a fat time to the point where y'all can go and make a zoo. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta think about it. These niggas were leaving and coming Bring back. back like, bro, this is my house now. Yeah. Like, why would I want to leave, bro? I own this. We That's own this. Insane. So they were doing finding a way to have. Oh, if that was me, I'm leaving. Exactly. Yeah, I would have been like, yeah, you niggas have fun with it. Yeah, have fun you with your me? zoo the minute, and shit. The minute this <laughs> shit goes belly up, yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm, this I'm, you know what I mean? We're all fucked. What the so, fuck? So yeah, bro. And then they brought over a thousand cops, bro. To Damn. For me, stop that shit. Yeah, to retake it. Imagine how scary that is. I'm telling you. Like yeah. rushing into a jail that's ran by prisoners. Ran by the prisoners. <sighs> There's everybody's here. Because the guards are the prisoners already outnumber the guards. Yeah. And then think about the prisoners that have probably have beef with certain guards, and they were just like, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Now the sure. shoes on the other foot, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah. And it's one crazy motherfucker that you just yeah. thought you could talk to. However, man, hella crazy. You're just shit. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. You're never getting. And out then of those here. prisons, they probably are wilding. That's you what know I'm what I mean? They probably go crazy with their with their prisoners and shit. You feel me? And I seen this thing too, where um, I think the president of El Salvador, there's because I guess El Salvador is generally like ran by like before he was the president, it was just ran by like gangs and shit mm. and i think i heard about that yeah, yeah so he's doing this thing bro where he is <gasps> going to the cemeteries about. and destroying the tombstones of any gang members in there what yeah wait why because he's trying to like uh, like get rid of all that shit and he said he was in, it's kind of crazy but he said he was inspired by the germans after world war ii because after world war ii they got rid of all that shit you know what i mean you know all the mustache yeah. guy shit they got rid of all that shit bro like they didn't even like talking about that shit over there bro you oh know God, what i mean yeah they got rid of all the the money they, they repented all their out, money yeah. they wiped all that shit out and he was pretty much saying like he's like yeah the only way we could really like change our country and you know make it better is by getting rid of all of this shit so they're going to all the cemeteries anybody that has any gang shit affiliated or they find out you're gang affiliated they're bro destroying they're destroying it. your fucking tombstone bro that's interesting bro. and then like Holy the prisoners shit. like they're not feeding their pres like the gang members that they did catch they're yeah. not feeding them motherfuckers bro they're just like letting them like rot in jail damn near and then it's hella funny because he was saying he's like oh people are saying that like it's not right like to like treat the prisoners like this and all this shit yeah. he was like bro those gang members have killed so much fucking people and he said if you feel so fucking bad about them you come and take them because we don't yeah. want them anyways that's <laughs> i was wild, like man. i was like you're that's a real one for that the president imagine sleepy joe saying, saying some I'm shit saying, like this bro. Up and shit that. <laughs> wow bro like imagine your president is that hard body I'm it's like bro you, if you really not, care about these motherfuckers yeah. kept getting yourself dead oh man he was not playing games yeah, when he said that shit bro and no, i'm not gonna lie see i think sometimes it's like even though there's probably people that are gonna you gotta put disagree, your foot down sometimes but bro. yeah bro the fact that he's for real for up putting his foot down like he's really using that power yeah you know because it seems like a lot of the time and like, ever since he came into like into control bro yeah. the death rate went went down you see? feel me like people could actually go outside and yeah. you know do regular shit he's like arresting yeah, see, hella gang so members and shit bro. yeah it. yeah see yeah it's because he's making it like bro this shit is not okay yeah, bro. so if you want to go and try to be on this gang shit out here bro yeah. have fun <laughs> yeah we gonna get your ass we gonna get your ass nigga even in the grave we yeah. gonna get your ass nigga we're gonna not make sure you death. don't exist yeah not even in death yeah bro. we're gonna make sure you don't exist that's interesting that's, that's crazy huh <sighs> Hey man, he's trying to make the change. Yeah, bro. you know, and it's working. Be. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, I did hear that the crime out there was wild. Yeah, hell of bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, it's good on bro. Yeah, on God, bro. You know what I mean? So I don't know, but hey, dude. Speaking of crime, so this happened in Russia, and this guy was going into this hair salon that was ran by this girl named Holga Zoljak. I think that's her, mm -hmm. how you pronounce her name. And he goes into this place, bro. I don't think he had a gun on him. I'm pretty sure it was a knife. He goes in there and he basically tries to rob her, right? So while he's in there, he's like, you know, give me your shit, give me your shit. And she's like, okay, okay. And she's like, you know, going towards the register. Bruh takes his eyes off her for a minute. And apparently, bro, 
this girl was a fucking black belt and bro wasn't like a really big guy he didn't even know he didn't know bro so he took his eyes off her for a second and bro she threw the salt so- like the <sighs> most solid kick. roundhouse kicking bro, his fucking dumb ass head. head right the nigga got hella dizzy and she grabs bro she ties him up with um don't tell me she tied him up with like a blow dryer extension cord or something. She like ties that. him up with a blow dryer extension cord, but I swear on everything I love, That's bro. Crazy. She ties him up with a blow dryer and she takes him to the back room. That's so embarrassing, bro. Exactly. So she, she's holding him hostage, right? <laughs> right? Fuck. Mike, Mike, Mike. She's holding him hostage, right? Until the cops come. Okay. Okay? I just fucking lied to you. Mike, this isn't going where you think. She holds this guy in the back room and she keeps him there for three days. Mike. So he this guy, fucked with the wrong yes, beauty salon. Wrong person, I swear to God, <laughs> Mike, bro, she keeps him there for three days and like fucks with him and shit. Fucks this dude and she's like, bro, I'm telling you, she fucks this guy for three days and she's just force feeding him Viagra so he can stay up the whole Ooh. time. I swear to God, bro, which is hella interesting, right? She lets him live. She's like this. She basically is like, bro, we gonna keep doing this because you wanted to be on some stupid shit. And the dude is just so done with it, bro. He's like, okay, I learned my lesson. I promise, I learned my lesson. <laughs> and she lets him go. She lets bro go. Yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah. all right, bro, cool. Guess what this guy does? He goes straight to the police, Mike. I swear to God. He goes to the police and he tells them, I went to this hair salon and this lady she knocked me out and she put me in the back yeah, of yeah. her in this back room and she just was doing all this stuff to me the cops were like bro what nice, nice. you know what i mean they were sitting there, okay okay you know what i mean they're like did you pay her you know what I mean? like they're like what she did your hair yeah, and that yeah. are you kidding me what the fuck nah but so they go to the hair salon and they ask you know they start questioning the old girl and on everything i love bro and she tells the cops she's like and she's hella mad about it she's like this fucking idiot yeah she was like yeah i did i knocked him out and da da because he came in here and he tried to rob me he tried to rob me with a knife so yeah i did i defended myself and they were for like three so, days exactly yeah, for three days I defended myself. <laughs> but they were just like so you you did all this and she was like yes i did and uh i even bro this is what's even crazier apparently after she did all that she was like i even gave this dude like i think an american dollar she was like i even gave him like 30 dollars and i uh i ironed his jeans or something like that and all this shit because she stripped him naked when yeah, she, yeah, yeah, after yeah. she knocked him off i mean knocked him out yeah which is crazy. And then uh, they both ended up getting arrested. They were like, yeah, you're fucking idiots. Both so of them got arrested. Both of them yeah, got arrested. Yeah, that's for like a little crazy. Minute. Yeah. When I heard this shit, I was just like, that's no so fucking way. Fu- he, he for sure <laughs> wasn't expecting that at all. at all. Bro, are you kidding me? First, he wasn't expecting that fucking roundhouse. At all. Nigga. You know what I mean? But to, to be tied up for three days. And stripped naked. And then you Force get- fed Viagra yes, to be used as some fucking sex doll. Yeah, bro. <laughs> a human sex doll, bro. <laughs> yeah. I swear to he you, was just bro. damn near uh, like uh, a sex toy for three yeah. days for her. I swear to God, and she was just doing her thing, just bouncing damn. on her. Yeah, for three. See, days. that's like, does he deserve it or <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, like am I being punished? <laughs> it's like, yeah, does he deserve it? Like, is it like, yeah, like pay like ask karma for you type shit? Or is like, do I feel bad for bruh? Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, bro, to be real, like at a beauty salon, it's like you're probably not gonna get like a lot of. Like, you know, a lot of money. Yeah, to be from it. Like, you probably get, like, a couple hundred dollars or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like, which will suck for her. Yeah. But it's like, I think a roundhouse and then tying him up waiting for police to come is, is, you know what I mean? Is enough. That's pretty fucking good. But yeah. What was going through her? And why was that the first thing that she was like? She was like, let me strip this nigga <laughs> naked and then do this. And, bro, I, I'm pretty sure, because, like, in this, the way the story goes, I don't know if she left, but I'm pretty sure she probably left him there, went and got the Viagra. I don't think she had it on her. Yeah, if yeah. If she did, that's even that's crazy. Even she probably did it to someone else before. Yeah. And she was just like, oh, my God, this is Finally. so perfect. And you got to think about it. She was in a dangerous situation, too. So I probably, like, super turned yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear to you, bro. That's insane. Holy Like, imagine fuck. that. Imagine waking up. You just tried to rob somebody's house. Let's say you try to rob somebody's house. You know what I mean? Let's say we try to, like, hit a lake or something. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. We're just sitting there like, I'm like, Mike, nigga, this is an easy-ass lake, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, it's never quick. home. This nigga's never home, bro. You feel me? And if his wife home, nigga, she sleep. Yeah, oh, God, right? yeah. We can just go up in there, bro. Go downstairs, bro. They got a safe down there. We can just, you feel me? Take that shit. We don't even got to crack it open. You're like, it's good. Nigga, it's good. Go. Come on. We go inside the house, bro. We sit there, do our thing and i'm like it's mike bro i think we good and then randomly you're like this bro and then it's just the the wife <laughs> she's spinning she, giving me a she grabs bro. both of our heads and fucking bang <laughs> them together, <laughs> together nigga. we wake up we're both tied back to back on a chair uh, and we're both naked uh, damn and we're both, we both just have solid ass weenies nigga, <laughs> because she already forced fed us out of shit she already had her way. She already had her way with us a couple times oh, bro. Man, I'm sitting like this. My, my hips hurt so bad nigga. I'm sore, sore as, as fuck i'm hell, hell sore. <laughs> 
I'm like, why am I like thighs and like, why am I a sore for? The fuck? Why am I wet? Oh, man. I swear to God, bro. That's terrible, bro. See, that's all. Sa- yeah, that sucks, bro. Like, me? to do that to a dude, bro. It's like, interesting. That's why I said, bro, yeah, this story that's not, is that's not, not common. common. Nah, for sure. Hell no. Nah. You feel me? That's why I said, yeah, he was like a smaller guy. He was like kind of frail. Damn. Yeah, that's why she was able to really have her way with, bro, for real, for real. That's crazy. And I'm not going to lie, a whole guy just imagined like a. Yes. Like a big, like a big ass Russian girl. Russian girl. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? Like she took a swig of vodka yeah, after she did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Mother Russian from yeah. fucking Kick Ass, too? Yes. I just imagine, That's her. Yeah, I just imagine a girl <sighs> like that. Yeah, just like kicking you in the head. I don't know, bro. Bro, I'm, bro, if I'm about to go rob someone, yeah. right? And I'm yeah. a scrawny dude. Yeah. And then the, the girl's like way bigger than me or whatever the fuck. I'm still not taking the chance. Bro, I'm, I'm walking out the store, bro. I think he thought he was cool and he was hella intimidating because he had a knife. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Damn, that's. I wonder what he looked at. You know what I mean? Like, what was it that made him take his eyes off of her for that one I minute? I know. I think he was looking outside to see if the cops mm. were coming. Like, just to see if there was see any if cops seen him yeah, or, or yeah, somebody okay, was trying yeah, to come yeah, in yeah, to yeah, 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 get okay. their hair done. You know what I mean? So he was probably looking at the back door. Yeah, she just. I mean, the front door. Because you got to think about it. Throughout those three days, yeah. she had customers. Mm hmm. So she was leaving him back there. Thank you very much. I was just gonna say yeah. she'll leave him back there, do somebody's hair. Oh, okay. So how are you and your husband again? Yeah, dude, all that shit. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> da da da. And the niggas in the back room. He's just yeah, like, oh, tied up my and God. shit. Oh, oh, my weed hurts so bad. He's just sitting there, nigga. His shit's damn near finna fall off. After hours. You feel me? Once After everyone hours, leaves. Yeah. She's like, all right, bye. You know what I mean? All her workers and yeah, shit. They're yeah, like, yeah. okay, da, da, da. they never get to the background. Like, Hoga, you sure you don't want me to close up tonight? She's like, no, it's fine. You know, it's okay. All right. You've been closing up all week. No, it's, all, it's all okay. the past week. I know. It's just, you know, I, I just love my business. All right. Okay. All right. Have a good night. All right, then. She goes back there and starts. <laughs> <laughs> Going stupid on blood. <laughs> Surfboard. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's wild, bro. I'm telling you. That's bro. crazy. Sickening, okay, what bro. would you rather have? Would you rather get just like tortured for three days straight or would you rather or have, have a hook on me yeah i have a hook going mm-hmm. you for three days straight all right what is the torture like are they pulling out my fingernails type shit and all that or what like what are they doing yeah to me? let's say that they're they, like they waterboarding me what are they doing they're like they're like just being the fuck out you you know they're 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 paper cutting them the middle parts of your mm-hmm. fingers and shit like yeah i'm r- I'd rather take a hold <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, and I'm gonna do it like I love it to yeah, be real yeah, at yeah. that point. If I know that's the alternative, Honestly, I'll probably just make the best of it. Yeah, of the whole game. If I'm in that situation, I'm already tied up, bro. It's yeah. like, fuck it, fuck bro. It, bro. I'm already here. Yeah. This is what I get. Free pussy. <laughs> do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like at this point, I'm like, I mean, shit. I guess you want me so bad. Yeah, I'm God, fuck I it. I don't know. Maybe I was the only nigga. That I didn't was... try to make a deal with her. Like, can you just yeah. untie me? Like, I'll just do yeah. this without this yeah. whole. I'll be like, bro, we don't need all this yeah. extra stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be like, hold it. To be real, <laughs> when I first walked in. I was already thinking about getting your number after. <laughs> yeah. I was like, look, beyond all this Robin shit, <laughs> you a baddie. What's bro. good with you? What's good with you? Come on, Olga. You feel me? I swear to God, I'll play the game, bro. And she'll sit there like, really? Do you think, yes. okay, do you think after they do their time, after they get out, you think one of them is going to call each other? <laughs> you think Hulk's going to hit him up? Or you think he's going to hit Hulk up? I think they'll tear you up. After spending time with a bunch of dudes, he might he's going to hit Olga. He's going to be like, hey, Hoagie. He's going to be like, Hoagie, <laughs> baby, hi, how are you doing? I just got out, did you? <laughs> I swear he's going to be with it, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying, sure. bro? Are you kidding me? He's going to be like, nigga, Hoga was throwing yeah, that. Yeah, she was going mother. crazy on me. Are you kidding me? That's always going to be thinking about why he's locked up in yeah, there. Yeah, I swear to you. Isn't this fucked up? Look what we're doing right now. Yeah, I know. Look what we're doing Look right what we're now. Look we're doing. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, we're so sick. Isn't it crazy, bro? Yeah. Like, if the roles are reversed. Yeah, like that's insane. I swear to God, I think this is national news. But now it's just it's true. It's comedy. just like damn, bro. That's kind of yeah. that's kind of crazy. And you got let go, so it's kind of crazy. Like you yeah. know, you're good, bro. You know, you yeah, just me. I was just free pussy. You just had three days straight of fucking of just fucking. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild. Dude. A lot of guys would want to be in your shoes, bud. <laughs> Honestly, no, that's what's crazy. Probably a couple no, no, guys who'd I'm want real, that. Bro, no, there's gonna be weirdly to watch Mike on the this comments, episode. The comments are flooded with dudes like this, bro. Get me Hoga <laughs> now. Nigga. I need me Olga. Oh, me, I need me Olga, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, Isn't that wild, bro. I know how we are. Like, We're why so is it like? Why do I bring? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. This changes the whole thing. Go ahead. Did she at any point? Uh-huh. You know. Oh, try to penetrate him. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. nah it was nah, just, nah. it was just her bouncing on. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. if it was the other way, that's why. Then it's like, damn, I feel hella bad for this dude, yeah, bro. I, I, I still feel bad for bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, no, are you kidding me? If Holga overpowered this dude, he's getting donezo in jail. Bro, I still feel, me? I still, I, I don't feel bad for him because he tried to rob her. So he's you. stupid. That's as fuck. why I'm saying this story is so comedy. So that's what he fucking gets. Yeah. But damn, bro,
that would kind of that would suck you know what i mean he's kind of just you know, like oh god you know we do all that shit <laughs> you know but i mean you yeah. shouldn't be trying to fucking rob people bro exactly i don't know bro was a little bonded. message for, if you're ever trying to rob a barber shop or a salon bro be careful yeah because they might give you a roundhouse yeah kick they might give you a roundhouse forget. kick you'll never forget It'll scar you for the rest of your life bro I swear you can never watch you. a bruce lee movie or a chuck norris movie the same ever. again yeah <laughs> nah but uh bro i had this one story i wanted to tell you bro it happened recently bro. It happened like in 2016 2018 in texas and it was about this dude named billy I don't know how to say his last name. He's from Kenya, so I don't know how to say his last name. But it was this dude named Billy, and he was a like a he would take care of like old people at their houses and shit like that. So he was like a care worker and stuff. And for 2016, 2018, bro, he killed like 22 old ladies by like strangling them, and then he would steal all their like jewelry and all this shit and like and like, sell it and stuff. Oh. And it wasn't until 2018 that one of his victims had survived. Yeah. And she was able to like identify him to like police and shit like that. And police found him the next day at his apartment complex in the parking lot like with hella stolen jewelry on him and then when they looked in the dumpster they found a, like a big ass red jewelry box that had documents in it and they followed documents to this lady old it was an old lady's house and they found her dead on her bed <sighs> so they instantly arrested this dude bro you know throw him in jail for life bro and i think they threw him in jail like last year or something and which is crazy because the prison that he got sent to bro is also filled with hella other like murderers and shit yeah and they've been having a crazy problem at that prison where a lot of the prisoners were killing each other so and this is not common but i guess this year they had to go on like a complete lockdown because so much prisoners were just murdering each yeah other. murdering each other and this month or last month in september he got murdered they found him dead in his cell yeah damn bro what and the they fuck? haven't released like somebody's name or how he ended up dying yeah. they just ended up finding him dead bro damn what the hell so wait what why did he do all that shit i don't i think it was just for money and just just to steal the shit because it was his like his patience and shit that he was like killing and stuff oh my god and like so they didn't know he was killing him until that girl had like found like you know snitched on him or like you know told on him and stuff yeah they didn't know he was killing a lot they just thought a lot of his patients just dying like naturally because they're already old but a lot of like the the kids of the of his patients were like but there's no way like i know my mom was old but like she was still like a pretty healthy lady and was able to like walk around and stuff and then like so they went back to all his like other like patients that he had they had died and they found out like oh yeah he killed like most of them damn near jeez bro yeah see that's what i'm saying that's so interesting how like we don't do good enough background checks bro i'm gonna be real like you know what i mean i'll be like how did this crazy nigga get into the police force how did this crazy nigga become a fucking nurse yeah. how did this crazy motherfucker become a doctor bro? yeah bro and it's like yeah this nigga's smart but he's fucking psycho crazy you know what i mean that's really interesting bro that yeah we do not do good enough background checks like i don't know like you gotta ask nigga certain questions bro like hey bro, you ever thought about killing somebody <laughs> just gotta be straight up you know what i mean and just watch out a nigga face yeah yeah, twist, yeah. You know look at I mean? his eyes and shit yeah look at his eyes does he get excited yeah you know what i mean you know, you're talking about killing nigga and you see like a spark in his eye because that's the most craziest thing is like we're supposed to like trust these people you know what i mean to take care of like you know our parents or you know whoever their job is and they're over here murdered 22 of his patients because like what could you do because you could easily lie on a ooh, damn the spider web got caught on me you could easily fucking lie on your fucking you know your resume and all this stuff and maybe you know wherever you get hired from might not really look at it that much yeah no so i really think it's like the employers that be fucking up by hiring just like whoever yeah no see that is true that is true too but i don't know bro it's just so crazy that like I mean, I wouldn't say we don't believe mental health because it's kind of getting to a point where a lot of people oh, abuse it nowadays or they're just saying, oh, you know, my mental health. Yeah, yeah. You're a normal, perfectly OK person, but you're just sad or whatever. But I don't know, bro. Like, uh, I think it's just crazy how I just, I just don't think we do enough bro, to really see what's good. I think there's other things that we can test to see how somebody would be in certain situations. Do you think, or how, you do know you think mean? based off someone's character, that could be enough? Yes. To not hire them? I think so. Like, yeah. if I come in to be a nurse, I'm hella like, yeah, I just really want this job. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> duh, dude. That's crazy. You're not hiring me? Bro, hell no, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, that's crazy. That's what I mean. I don't, I don't know, bro. I just think that we need to look deeper than just like, oh, this person on paper is qualified. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how does, what's this guy's demeanor? 
What's this girl's demeanor when they, you know what I mean? And to be real, sometimes it'd be the happy go lucky motherfucker that's sitting there yeah. the fucking worst. You know what I mean? They sound, they do really good in the interview and they're like, yeah, I just love kids and I babysat in 2016 and I babysat in 2017 and then I decided to become a nurse and then, so yeah, now I'm here. And she sounds so happy. Yeah. And then, nigga, first week, she kills everybody in that house. Man. And then the cops come through. She's all bloody and she has a knife in her hand. She's like, sorry. And she's still hecka happy go lucky like this. I'm going to jail, huh? Yeah. Crazy For sure, because you would never know. You feel that's me? The, that's like, the most scariest shit. No, real shit, because, nigga, this just even reminded me. I have this story, bro. This isn't even the story I was trying to even tell you, Mike. This is a whole other shit. It was about this dude named James Huberty. Nigga, I think this happened, like, in the 80s. He started telling his wife randomly, right? And he was a normal-ass guy. He started telling his wife randomly. He was like, babe, I think I'm developing mental issues. Like, you know, there's something wrong mm -hmm. with me. And she was like, babe, you're tripping. Like, no, there's no way. And so he was like, I don't know. Like, I really think that there's something. I don't know. I just think I'm developing something. I don't know. It was almost like he was calling it early, yeah, yeah. right? Which is weird. And his wife was like, ah, you know, just, just sleep it off. Like, you're tripping. He ends up even going to like a mental facility to just go see, you know, like what's wrong with him and stuff like that. And just, you know, he was basically saying like, hey, can I just come in here and just like get help? These people, when he talked to them, they were like, bro, you're too well-spoken. You're too like, he was too much of like, he seemed too much of a good yeah, guy. Yeah, you're not crazy. You're normal. Exactly. He seemed hella normal when he was talking to them. They're like, he was hella respectful, you know, made eye contact with the whoop, all these like, you know, signs that he was a pretty normal guy. They were like, nah, bro, it's, it's all good. Like you don't need this and mind you bro this is back in the day so it wasn't like nowadays you know what i mean you say that shit yeah, they'll yeah. instantly be like come on bro yeah god you yeah. feel me we're like yeah up. but he they were like bro you're good bro and he talked to like a bunch of other places that all basically turned him away like nah man you're good and then one day i think like two weeks after this he tells his wife he just goes and says honey i'm gonna miss you and he kisses her and then i think he like um went and like you know just touched his kid's head and shit like that and he leaves the house he gets in his car oh and he brought his he he took his gun too he had a um i forgot what kind of gun it was but mm -hmm. goes to a mcdonald's that was by their house and he killed 20 people at the mcdonald's what the fuck yeah and then he ends up going to i think i heard about this shit yes, before bro, crazy as fuck bro yeah and then out of mcdonald's up, out bro of McDonald's, killed 20 people damn you know what i mean so is that not interesting that he kind of warned everybody yeah time? yeah no one nobody believed yeah him. no one believes him you know they were just like bro come on because we're focused on the now yeah and seeing how he talks and all these other things but it's like if a nigga tells you he's something bro believe him yeah nine times out of ten i don't even give a fuck if i think you're not really with it yeah because even I'm like gonna take, i'm gonna take your word for it yeah cause even uh i think ed kemper the co-ed killer like when he was in jail bro he was damn like buddies with the cops like he was there like with the guards like chop it up with them you know he's talking about like the fucking murders he's done and he's just like a normal guy bro yes yeah, he he's hella smart. smart you know what I mean? he's hella intelligent you know what i mean like he could talk normal yeah. he's not like psycho like charles manson or anything like that bro. he's just a, a normal and he's like fucking six two or some crazy shit bro like <sighs> He was just a normal ass dude, but he was like, he's damn near like the real like Michael. If Michael Myers could talk, bro, yeah, that's what fucking Ed Kemper was damn near, bro. Like just a big ass fucking strong ass dude, bro. That's crazy as fuck. You said he was smart. Yeah, he was actually hell. I think his IQ was like crazy. hell. Yeah, he had like a high ass IQ and shit. Wow, bro. See, that's so interesting. It's like how, what made you go? Yeah, because even when, when they were asking him like, why'd you do? He was like. He was like, it was mostly because of my mother. You know, my mother wasn't really that much of a good parent. Like that's so how he even fuck, knows. That's how he talks. Yes. So he even knows. He, I think the he reason. killed his mom. I think. Wow. I might be wrong about that. I'm not for sure, but I'm pretty sure did he, he did. He mostly though. kill girls. He killed yeah coeds. So oh, like okay, girls okay. in college, college and shit. Yeah. 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 Jeez, bro. See, that's interesting. I don't know. It's and like, he killed them all. I think he said he killed them all because they all like they all reminded him of his, like his mom or some shit like that. But I'm like, that's so crazy. How you're you're able to articulate why you did all this shit, and like there wasn't a part of you that was telling you like hey bro like it's not like don't do this like it's not worth it like you know the reason why you you went on this crazy spree and even while in jail you're just like yeah bro and it was just like you know my mom was a bitch or whatever so i had to kill a bunch of females wow and it's just crazy that he understands his brain yeah. so well that's what's interesting because like a lot of the killers when you ask them it's like they'll try to just come up with like the grossest answer yeah, like fucking, i just loved seeing their guts and woody -woo or a fucking a possessed dog told me to yeah. fucking kill them or some shit like that you know what i mean like yeah exactly bro i don't know who said that again wasn't that like son of sam or something yeah son of sam was the he one said a said. possessed dog told yeah him. i think his neighbor's dog or i don't fucking know exactly but like i think that's why they called him son of sam because i think the 
the demon or whatever that was talking to him was named Sam. Was Sam, I think. Mm. Something like that. I, I don't remember his whole life. So I remember you telling you tell me about the uh, about his shit like a while ago. But yeah, that dude was fucking crazy. Bro. Yeah. See, but that's what I'm saying though. Like the fact that you just said, I never knew anything about the co-ed killer. That's interesting. Yeah, that dude's crazy. Too. That dude's crazy. Yeah, because like the way you made him sound like he talks. Is but like, like, if you guys want to like get a real shiver down your fucking spine. Look up Ed Kemper's like interviews in jail and shit like that when he's talking to like the guards or whatever. Yeah. Bro, the way he talks is just so weird. Like you know he's just not normal, bro. Like like you talk so like you talk so normal, it's it's weird, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? You it's do like what you, do. you shouldn't be talking like talking this. like this, bro. Like okay, yeah. See, I don't know, bro. And that's interesting because I, I did want to tell you something too, bro, about and this is like a whole other story. Just about smarts. Cause you just said bro smart and i'm just thinking about it i was like okay but this guy he didn't become a killer this is gonna throw you off bro it was this guy named jason paget he used to be back in the day he was like this real jock type of guy mm -hmm. you know had like a mullet he was a football player had a buff and shit like that Let right? him in jacket. exactly these were his exact words at one point in time too he said he thinks math is a waste of time and it's stupid as hell mm -hmm. right and then one day bro in 2002, he was hanging out with a couple of his buddies. They're all at a karaoke bar. And he started, I guess, these other dudes started talking smack or whatever. They end up getting into this really big fight. And he gets his ass whooped to the point where he has a concussion, right? Mike, when he wakes up, he's hella smart. I swear to God, Mike. Mike, he ends up developing this condition called acquired savant syndrome. And basically, he ended up. Like, the way he sees the world is in geometric shapes and shit like that. So now, bro, he's like a true math Genius. Whiz. Yeah, bro. He got some sense shit. knocked into him. He actually <laughs> got some sense knocked into him, yeah. Mike, is that a moth? I don't know what that is. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I'm hella scared. But what? Damn, he really got some sense, sense knocked, knocked into, into him, though. Yeah. I That's, swear it to you, bro. And now he's like, so was he the same genius. guy or something like that? No, it's, like, it's just that he started to just be like, why did I think like this? So his whole brain changed. Like the way he used to think about math and we do, because he's seeing all of it now differently. You know what you I know mean? That, you know, that reminds me of, uh, what Scooby Doo movie was it? When they're drinking all the potions and shit, and then Shaggy oh, drinks the one, he yeah, turns yeah, into yeah. like a mad scientist. Or no, yeah. Scooby, I think no, Scooby, Scooby turns into, he mad scientist turns into a mad scientist and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just hella funny. You know what I mean? It's like, wow bro this guy actually whoever that was bro you owe him your life yeah because like now i'm a genius yeah because you would have just fucking been working at whatever the hell yeah who knows what you know what i mean but it's some like now. guy who peaked in high school yeah, or something. you know what i mean like you would have been that guy and now he's like i could go do a job as a nasa or something yeah. like that bro like he could go to school and like pass the hell bro so I, wait can i show you the wait, difference hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. so you said he sees things in geometric shapes yes if he could see in geometric shapes like what is that even look like does everything look like triangles and squares to him or something like, like I don't, how does I don't that think it's everything i think it's almost like okay you know how people are like it might be like how a form he's like, of like percy dyslexic. jackson or some Thank shit you. why was i gonna say that yeah yeah it's like that it might be like that a little bit Holy you know what I, mean? fuck. I, I don't fucking know nigga. I yeah can't yeah see yeah the no that's crazy shape, yeah 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 but the way that they described it and it, for some reason it's helping him really good with math it made what him understand fuck? it so well yeah he's doing pythag theorem hella fast like a all, this, yeah, yeah, all that yeah, shit's yeah. a breeze to his guy now yeah damn yeah, I mean, so I, I wonder I what that is. That. I wonder if you could replicate that to other people. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, like if what I could part of the brain did they not? Yeah, like if I could that. bonk you on a certain part of your head, yeah. would you wake up hella smart? That's what I'm saying. Like, where did he kick him in his yeah, head? Or yeah, something? yeah, yeah. You probably kicked him in the sweet spot. Okay, do you think? Do you think is it when he got kicked in the head is what made him get smart, or do you think when he fell on the floor? And banged his head. And banged his head. Because I'm assuming if you get knocked out like that, you're gonna fall straight to the ground. Not nah, because you got to think about it. So many other people have just been like failed. Yeah. Compared to a nigga getting kicked in the head. Yeah, but it could have been both. Kicked. It could have been both. You know what I mean? It could have ah, like ah the double trauma. Yeah, the double the double whammy. You yeah, know what I mean? It could have rattled his brain around and yeah. flipped it upside down and made him smart or something. Just like Patrick on that one episode, yeah. like, plug, unplugged it. No, I yeah, plugged yeah, shit yeah, back yeah, in. plugged it back in. Yeah, you feel me? That's wild. And he became hell smart because Patrick was smart as fuck on that. That's shit. so crazy. Yeah, I wonder if his personality was still the same. Like, did he still so. like sports? You know what I mean? Did he Bro, still like, no. you know what I mean? Me, okay, watch when I show you this picture. You're not even going to believe it. You're going to be like, there's no way that this is the same guy, Mike. Oh, my God. Here's the side by side. Look, this was him in high school, and that's him now. Whoa. <laughs> Bro, he was buff in high school, too. I told you he was a real jock. Yeah. Bro, that's he looks wild. like such a nerd now. He huh. looks actually like. Super nerd. Yeah, he looks kind of like successful now. Yes, one hundred percent. He is. Are you kidding me? And it, did it fuck up his vision too? Because now he's wearing glasses. <laughs> like it just turned him into <laughs> such a typical. 
I'm starting not to believe this, bro. I ain't go Cassie. There's no way to that extent. I think he always just liked that shit. Dude, and he just had to find an excuse. Find a way to yeah, transition. Yeah, 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 Is that yeah, your theory? Yeah. That's my theory, bro. I don't that's too that's too because then how come like a UFC fighter isn't getting kicked in the head and he's waking up like, well, the circumference of the ring of the you know what I mean of the of the octagon. Think, no, okay, you know I think it might be that's what I'm saying. It might have just been one of those. It's things, rare. It's like a rare super thing. Rare, yeah. And it was just luck of where the guy hit him in the perfect spot. But that's what I'm reconstructing. That, but that's what I'm saying though. Of all the fighters yeah. in the world, I'm not even talking about UFC anymore. Like I'm talking about boxing, yep. you know, all this shit. Muay have been Thai, knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Why? How come none of Tyson's victims I know. <laughs> are sitting there, you know, Woke being, up and they could fucking being a professor yeah, or something like that? You know what I yeah. mean? Teaching a class or something, how to yeah. fucking dodge hits or something, oh, bro. God, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, how come that hasn't happened to anybody in any fighting sport? Maybe we just don't know. Maybe it was the angle that he, he That's hit what I'm bro, saying, something. bro. Yeah. Know. Like, who knows? Or That's maybe, crazy. I wonder how yeah, common no. or, like, how rare is it? Like, are there other stories? There has to I'm be pretty sure, bro. Like, I just didn't do my research. Like, what are the stories of the other people who hap- that has happened to them? So you know what I mean? It's like, did they... It. Did they also get hit? You know, has someone just fell over yeah. and hit their head I mean, what on if a, a nigga table that, what or something? What if it's shit? all different? Like, what if this other guy becomes a genius in like symphonies with music and shit? Like Whoa, that? yeah, that's you know crazy. I mean? Like, and he's able to like see music. Yeah, or, or someone's hella good at drawing now after they got yeah. hit in the head or something. You know, who knows, bro? That's what I'm saying. It might not all just be math math whizzes. How did he? Was it like he woke up and he was instantly like, yes. "Give me a whiteboard." <laughs> no, he said, you know what I mean? Like, what, what I heard it? is he was looking around and he was like, "What the hell?" And then he went to the doctors and then they explained it to him because they're like, "Whoa, like what the hell?" And then I think that they said, and clearly, if they were able to tell him what it is, that means it's probably happened someone happened before. before. Yeah, you yeah. know, so enough that they have a fucking yeah, name for it. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, they were like, "Bro, you have this now," <coughs> which you. is interesting. Thanks. <coughs> Bless you again. It's always two, man. Yeah. But yeah, bro, became math with. Damn. Yeah, interesting guy. So it's like. If that happened to you, would you even be mad? No. But then it's like, what if you loved your past Football. jock life? You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, I yeah. love being, like, you know, work. You used to work out as a nerd. But I mean, like, you know, I love being just like a, a guy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. drinking beer with my friends and, yep. you know what I mean? Doing dumb shit in my truck or whatever. He looked yeah. like he drove a truck. Oh, God, you know what I mean? Sure. Doing dumb shit in my truck. You know what I mean? Going out to where it's hella muddy and doing like hella donuts and shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you don't think he'll miss that, or you think that I think that bonk in the head changed yes, his whole. Yes, I think it changed his whole brain, like chemistry, bro. I think he just was like, all of that was a waste of time. I could do so much yeah. more with this knowledge yeah, I have yeah, now, yeah, yeah. and his brain just started going more towards those things of excelling in mm. life compared to just those fun things. Because what does what does he do now? Like, what's his job now? I have no idea. I forgot what it is. It but, looks um, like he does something cool. Yeah, it's something with like tech or some shit like that. That's what crazy. I remember. Yeah, which is crazy as fuck. So interesting, dude, bro. Jason Paget. Man. Yeah, I was like, what? What a fuck? guy, huh? Yeah. I mean, what a guy to the nigga that knocked yeah, his yeah, ass yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for him. He's you got special feet or hands yeah, or whatever he did to him. Yeah, bro. That nigga might be a what a car. A prophet yeah oh god could be he's just in there just blessing people with with oh, knowledge god. yeah who would have thought but you would think <laughs> what an ass whooping oh i mean you would think tyson would be the nigga that would be that's what it. i'm saying that's 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 like is it because the way tyson's hitting them i think tyson's are just for straight damage, yeah it's just bro. death it's you just know, death it's his death. punches is just equal death yeah bro you know i think it's like in every punch it's just it shortens your life by yeah like five years nigga it's like the penance <laughs> there you know what I mean? Or whatever the hell the penance there does to you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like one of those, bro. But this guy, his shit was able to better you, nigga. You become Damn. a genius after that. You know, what if every bit. I think if I was the guy who hit him, I think yeah. I would be mad. I would too. I'd be like, I would try to kick myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the bathroom just socking yourself in the jaw oh, and God, shit. Yeah. What if it worked? Nah. So. Your brain will even let you. Uh, I know, yeah. It wouldn't even let you bite your finger off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. is crazy. I was like, why? You know, and I heard something interesting, too, is that your brain will, like, give up on you before, or I forgot what it was. No, no, no. It's like, yeah, yeah, your brain will basically be like, yeah, nigga, I'm out when you're about to die. Before, like, you're even thinking about, like, which sounds interesting as fuck. Like, before your body gives out, your brain's, your brain's already brain's out of there. Out first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Which is hella interesting. That's trippy. Like, it's crazy how It's almost like your brain is like a it's virus. Thing. It's like, I mean, your brain is like a parasite. Yeah, it's that's just what it, yeah, no. Just, that's really what it is because our brain is just it just controls this big bag of meat and bones that we yeah. are. You know what I mean? Because that's that's really what humans are, bro. That's so weird. At we're the end of the day, we're just blood. we're just a bag of blood and meat and bones. Yeah, you know what I mean? In a skin bag. That's so. And our brain just pilots everything. Yeah, it's just a brain on top. Yeah, it's just doing its thing. So are we the brain? 
Yeah, that's. Oh, you interesting. know, remember that? Remember that story I told yeah, you about the heart? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. think we're the brain or our soul is in our heart? Yeah, see, that's because that nigga became the guy. Yeah, and then your heart pumps the the, you know, and the blood to everything. To everything, yeah, including yeah, your brain. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's the thing. I don't know. I think they're just two separate entities, damn near. At, at, at this point, it's like. So you think we got an alien X situation going on, I where we got two yeah, these things that so. are battling? I think your brain is just like. This probably just sounds so stupid. You know, there's people who probably know, go to school us. and actually know what they're talking about. They're like, these guys sound like complete idiots. Hey, but you watch but, this though. Yeah, on God, yeah. So who's who's laughing now, yeah, huh? Thank you. But <laughs> yeah, good, yeah, thanks, bro. Keep watching. Yeah. But I just think, yeah, it's like your brain is its own thing. And it tells you what to do and shit. Yeah. And I think that's why people have like that like double side on certain things. You know what I mean? I think it's like one side is like your brain. Uh, is no, like, you ever heard that before? You know that saying? saying where it'll be like, my heart's telling me yes. Yeah, and yeah, my yeah, yeah. My yeah. mind's telling me no. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both got it at the same my time. My body. <laughs> my body. Okay, yeah, we can't, we can't sing that. <laughs> you got us ripped straight off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I no, wonder. It's, it's I wonder. Cover. I wonder. It's cover. It's I wonder cover. It's if cover. they peeped it first before we. Yeah, did. yeah, yeah. That's true comedy. They're like, bro, you don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> oh my God, that's terrible, bro. Yeah, I think it is something like that though, because then how does that explain? Yeah, like I don't know, bro, because the brain is so crazy. Like it could send signals down to like your toes. Yeah. You know, what I mean? like it's so because like. Isn't it how it works? Like, if you get hurt, yeah, it has to send a signal all the way up into your brain so you can feel it. But mm-hmm. it's just so quick that it feels instant. Yep, exactly. That's what it is, yeah. Which is crazy that's as hell. That's so crazy. You know what I mean? Because that's why it's like, you know, when you um, when people end up, like, fucking up their spine and shit like that, that's why you don't have a feeling in your leg anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you severed that, that, know, that connection. connection. Yeah. All the feeling Damn. and everything. That's why people that are uh, paralyzed and stuff, yeah, yeah. They don't feel anything in their legs like that. Damn. Like, yeah, I mean, you fucking around and stab that nigga. Damn. You know, it's just like. That must suck, man. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but it's just wild, bro. Yeah, man. You know, but that shit is very interesting. I don't know, bro. Anyways, bro, if you were, this is a random question though, and this may be fucked up. Dude. This may be fucked up. If you were to lose, like, lose any body part on your yeah. body, uh-huh. which one do you think would be the easiest to get over? Yeah. <sighs> to be real, probably one of my arms. Really? I think. I think like up to like here. I think it'll be easier to, to get over than my leg. I think a leg. Bro, you're not going to be able to run again. From knee down like this. Mike, you're not going to be able to run again. Though. Knee down? I mean, yeah, you have the prosthetic leg, but I'm being honest. People, run with, people run with prosthetic legs. I don't have a prosthetic arm, though, because I'm being real. But then you like, won't be able to grab shit. I mean, I still have my left. Or, I mean, why am I assuming it's my right? I still have my right. If your left arm gets cut off. Yeah. But I've seen people like run marathons with prosthetic legs. I know, legs. but I'm just saying it's just kind of like I'd rather just have my legs, dude, because like I want to run. I want to fucking be able to. Really? Yeah, I still like all that. I think that, my bro. hands are too important, though, bro. Really? Until they make shit that can really like do this. I mean, I've seen some shit that can really do this. And really? It's, and it's, uh, it's connected to your brain. brain. Yeah. Damn. I'm being real. Somebody knows. I'll so you don't think they clip. have something for your leg? They do, but it's... I'm um, talking about knee down. You still yeah, have your no, knees. They do. Yeah, they do. But it's... Mm, I just feel like you kind of still walk a little wonky. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if I have balance. jeans on and it's like, you know, yeah, nobody can tell. I, I, I got what you. I still, I you know what I mean? They'll be like, bro, you good? You know, people still I get, what you, you, like, I get what you mean. Yeah, You know, yeah. you still kind of go walk a little yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little... But with your arm, it's kind of like, I look like guts. <laughs> you know, I'm just being like real. Like Finn the Human or yeah, some shit. Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess, yeah. Let's be real. If I could get Finn's arm, I would do it. I'll be tired, bro. Yeah. Because you could turn into hella different shit. Yeah, I would do some shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel me? I'll probably get guts on, bro. Who do you think is the most hard bodiest character from a cartoon? Ooh. Does anime include? No, not anime. Because okay. everyone in anime is hard body yeah. as fuck. I'm talking about like a cartoon, bro. Like shit that's like on Cartoon Network or like Nickelodeon or something like that. Or like Disney Channel yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga's stupid. Um, shit. All right, I mean Finn's up there for sure. Finn's for that sure hard body. Fucking hell and back. Oh god. Um. Oh my god, bro. Ben Ten is hard body. Ben Ten is the uh, most powerful yeah, character in anything. in anything, bro. Yeah, to be real, I truly believe that. Since especially that you you got to tell me yesterday. Yes. I think he could be anybody. Anybody in, in anything. fiction. Yeah, I think he's trumping anybody in fiction, bro. They can bring, bro. Even what's his name? Um. Uh, Dr. Manhattan. All of them. He's whooping Dr. Manhattan, bro. Because, like, even the fact that I told I was telling you about that alien, bro, that eats yeah, yeah. alien exes, bro. What the fuck? And Dr. Manhattan is basically like an alien ex ass nigga. Yeah. So, bro, that 
that thing is just I think he, yeah, I think he could turn into, because he could always just find something yeah. that will. That's going to beat that thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's going to find, like, the predator to that species. Yeah, to that species or whatever. Yeah, because it's like, that's kind of the way the world works. I mean, the way the galaxy Man. works, apparently, is that, you know, there's always a bigger fish. That's crazy. Ben 10 really is the, the most hard body character yes, of all time. Goat. And on top of that, bro, he's been through hell and back hell since a yeah. kid. Hell yeah. Since he was 10 years old. Nigga, Bill Gax been chasing that yeah, nigga since God. 10. Bro, he had beef with that nigga. Ben whooped his ass at 10 years old. That nigga came. He, bro, he waited. Or I think he got banished somewhere else. Then he came back when he was 15 and still was holding that grudge on a 15-year-old yeah, little nigga. crazy. You know what I mean? So it was Can like, you bro, imagine 10 years old? Fifth grade. Yeah. Sheriff. I was over there battling <laughs> intergalactic demons yeah nigga. yeah are you kidding me because that nigga vilgax was bro, not something to play with he was bro. scary i remember as a kid i was like i yeah. was scared of him i thought I was he was like, crazy bro. him and lich were like the most I craziest you, looking characters of nah, all time lich is dark nigga fall, fall. yeah that shit is bro. the lich is so hard you know i didn't know that ron perlman ron per- bro. Is one of voices him i did not know that hellboy voices fucking the lich i think yeah okay who do you think is the most scariest cartoon villain I okay, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. The Lich is up there. I'll probably say this, too. Uh, and this one, a lot of people don't know. The Beast from uh, Over the Garden Wall. Oh, yeah. Bro, that nigga was interesting. That bro. thing was fucking scary. You know what I'm saying, bro? That was a real good one, bro. Um, ooh, you know what was another good one in Ben 10? That a lot of people, he's an underrated villain because he was only a villain for a couple of episodes. He always was trying to take over Ben's body. Ghost Freak. The yeah. original Ghost yeah, Freak. Yeah, Not the yeah, one that he yeah, scans yeah, and yeah, has yeah, him to watch. Yeah, yeah. It's the other Ghost Freak even, where his face is out, nigga. But even the Ghost Freak that upside he, down. Even the Ghost Freak that he has. Yeah, that one was even fucking a problem. Even that one he can't yeah, even he couldn't even control him. Yeah, most of the time, yeah. yeah. You feel me? So Ghost Freak was always one of those interesting yeah, ones. Those, you know? the, yeah, that alien species is fucking scary. Crazy, nigga. You know what I mean? So, uh, I mean, there was a few, bro. Um, do you remember that one guy? I don't know. I'm talking about a lot of Ben 10. But he was... Um, I think his name was like something morning star or something like that he was like uh i don't know if you watched the the alien force one where but basically there was this character where he had like this power where he was like he looked hella golden and shit like in his mm-hmm. like ultimate form and the way he would become like that is he would drain the energy out of girls and then yeah bro so he even made like gwen fall in love with him and shit like Damn. that so he started trying to drain gwen and then she ends up freeing all these girls and then when she frees them bro the way the dude looks at the end of it is so fucking scary to be real like it's it gets funny later because you see him and he's still trying to be handsome and shit yeah, and it's yeah, funny. Yeah. but it's like when you, when first, you first see it, it you're like what the fuck because he's you know he looks like just just this handsome yeah, dude yeah. at first all the time he's blonde and shit like that you know and then his hair gets hella gray he looks hella like old and his eyes look hella crazy bro it looks wild bro and he's still sitting there and like he sounds hella different like oh <laughs> bro, it's crazy, yeah. And he was a he was a pretty big villain in Ben 10 for a little minute. Yeah. You know who I thought was creepy? Uh, and he wasn't even a villain. Return the slab? I, no. <laughs> Return the slab. <laughs> I thought the, the candy uh the candy doctor oh, from, from um, Flyjack was creepy. Oh, yeah, as bro. Fuck. You're talking about um uh what was his name again? The candy bro? Barber? No, it was the Candy it? Barber. I think yeah, it was the Candy was Barber. It? Yeah, bro. He looks so weird. I thought he was bro. so creepy. Hell and his yeah. wife and shit too was hella creepy to me. Oh no, you're talking about the um you're talking about uh I forgot his name was. Was it uh Was he the doctor or so? I don't know what the fuck he was. But he loved candy was. and he had a candy yeah, wife. Yeah, no, I know who you're talking about, bro. He was the um he was the nigga that basically owned like the, the bartender. He was like the bartender or yeah, some shit. Yeah, I forgot what I it was. I thought he was so like there's something about I thought you were talking him. about the um the haircut dude. Oh yeah, nah, he, he was, was creepy as fuck too. Fucking looking, bro. He was creepy as fuck too. You know what's crazy that I found out recently? Huh. Flapjack is the reason why we have so many fucking cartoons now. Really? Because Flapjack, all the people who worked on Flapjack went on to make their own cartoons. Gra- Gravity Falls, Adventure Time, Over the Garden Wall. Steve Universe, regular show, all really? this shit. Yeah, they all worked on Flapjack when they first started. That's probably why Flapjack was goaded. Yeah, exactly. Goaded, bro. Oh yeah, God. Wow. What Crazy, yeah. That's wild, bro. Oh, and man. also, hey, spoilers for uh, Fiona and Cake. Oh, yeah, but bro. Flapjack is technically a part of. He's in there. The Adventure Time like multiverse. He's there. Yeah, because there's a ep- spoilers. There's a ep- there's a part where they go to Prism. You know what Prisma is, right? The yeah. dude who lives in thing. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's the showing them. He's showing Fiona and Cake different dimensions, and one of the dimensions he goes to, it shows Flapjack and Knuckles and Bubby all on the, like all on the dock and shit like that. Do they still look the same? Yeah, it looks it's like the same animation and shit like that too. Yeah. It's so strange. Yeah, so apparently that's all from the. So maybe Candy Island might be a so real fucking place. So that theory might not have been fucking. Yeah. So this nigga, what's his name? 
probably actually did visit Candy Island, and, and then that's why kingdom. he ended up. And yeah, he met Princess Bubblegum, and that's really why yeah. he ended up making the Candy Wife, but basically like a shrine. For yeah, her, yeah. Right? That could not be. Now it's yeah, not really yeah. as now far-fetched as niggas thought yeah, back then. Huh? Yeah. You guys are fucking reaching, bro. <laughs> Who's reaching now, yeah, bro? bro? But watch the fucking Fiona and Cake, yeah. but it confirmed it. That's actually wild as fuck, bro. I don't know, bro. I mean, I've actually seen uh, some pretty good things about that show, too, to be real. Yeah, no, I think I it's just, some, that's just pretty fucking good. I fuck yeah, with it. That's interesting, though, bro. Holy shit. I mean, okay, so what else? Who who are, uh, were some other people that you thought were scary? That was scary as fuck. Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what I thought was scary? Huh? I thought Slade was scary. Really? Yeah, I just thought because I was like, he's so like fucking relentless and okay, like ruthless. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm not gonna lie. When Robin started having nightmares about him, that's, that's when I thought yeah, that was scary. Yeah. I was like, okay, like when he would just be walking in the shadows and shit like mm-hmm. this, and be like, Robin, da da da. Wait, was that was that what was that? Uh, Hellboy's voice too. He was Slade. For us? Ron Perlman was Slade. Wilson too. Search it. He's search it. Search good. it. He's search it. Search it. At, at he was Slade, Mike. Villains. Bet money he was Slade. I'm calling it right now. I just heard it right now. I just tried to do the voice. He was Slade. He had to be. Mike, I know you're going to go crazy. He was Slade. No fucking way we didn't know this. He was Slade. He was Slade. He was Slade, bro. <sighs> That's crazy. Bro. He's fucking good, Goated, bro. Goated, bro. Yeah. Ron Perlman, bro, needs more flowers, bro. The fact that he was the Lich, like, the Lich has so much, some of the most Goated hardest lines. lines of all fucking time, bro. Yeah, he said, he, he said, you are. but darkness for you. No, he said to Finn, he said, you are strength, but I'm beyond strength. I was, I was like, like Yo. he said, you're strong, bro, I'm beyond. He said something like yes, that, bro. Yeah, it was damn like, or something like that, bro. bro. And then the fact of what he was just saying, bro, he was talking about, like, my army is going to go, like, I forgot what he was saying, bro. He was like. We've sailed an ocean of stars and all this other crazy shit. It was like, bro, it's such a good dialogue. Bro, the way he just like, like the when I remember watching that shit as a kid, and I was like, bro, like, what the fuck happened to them, fucking like beatboxing and like rapping and shit, and now they're fighting some fucking demon. Demon, yeah, that's with so like crazy, a crazy bro. like that. That yeah, that the storyline got so crazy. And you know what's even interesting? I didn't even know this. Do you know Glob? Uh, grob gob glob the uh, the dude from Mars. No, no, no. no. You talking about Gold? Oh, Gold. Yeah, basically, Lich is the last scholar of Gold. That's what he okay, called himself. Okay, basically like yeah. God, right? The fucking it's like the red know. thing, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Red the thing? baby looking bro, thing. Yeah. You know what's crazy? That thing. Yeah, it's only a baby, and there's like a mom, bro. Really? I swear to God, and I seen the full version of it, Mike. It's so crazy, dude. And they showed like a picture. I don't, I don't know if it's in the show yet, but somebody was saying that the creator they confirmed it, and they were talking about a bunch of other things, and they showed an image of it, bro. This looks crazy as hell, and it shows like the full version of it holding the baby. What the fuck? I'm telling you, bro. I didn't, it I looks so, bro. It looks way manier. You're gonna be like, what? Because I know at the end of the series, Betty turns into yeah what's into his name gold. Um, simon's girl yeah right? simon's girl to, turns into uh into gold yeah that's cr- i did not think that that thing had a like a mom or something because that whole he's damn near like galactus like he just goes and like destroys like realities and shit and just like eats them or some shit so yeah i'm gonna have time was good as fuck at like making monsters and their lore is just so crazy good bro like it's funny how they i don't know if this was it but somebody made like somebody had a picture of it but mm-hmm. it was both of them together no nah, that's betty gold that's betty gold, that's betty gold. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, basically, it looked like this but it was like it, it was holding it was, the bro, baby it was one holding though. the baby one and it was like it looked hella spiky on its shoulders oh, and shit what like the that fuck? but it was like it, it had a body like that yeah 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 body like you know what i mean like that you know what i'm saying but that's it's crazy crazy and i was like what the fuck yeah they're so good i don't know like and it's funny because it's like it would be some random shit that happened like in season one that yeah. was like a no one thought thing. a one-off thing and yeah. then it, it comes back to be something like a huge important part of like the whole story and shit and i love shows that are like that but i don't think a lot it makes me think like watching like old older episodes of adventure time i'm like did they plan you know like did they plan a lot of this shit out you know because they talk about like the cosmic owl like in a lot of earlier yeah. episodes before he's like yeah really jake cr- was having like dreams you know about him I mean? yeah shit. Or i think it was finn yeah no i think jake was having dreams about him because yeah, jake yeah. was having dreams about him like dying with like the cosmic owl and shit like that and it i wonder if like a lot of the stuff was like you know this would be funny just to have like a random like cosmic owl or whatever or did they plan like how far ahead did they plan all this shit Cause the story is too damn good, bro. Nah, me. But, but like shows like Gravity Falls and all this, like you could tell like since the beginning they've been planning like certain shit out and shit. But like yeah. Adventure Time in the beginning, it was like 
It was just goofy. It was just a goofy ass yeah. show. Yeah. Fucking beatboxing and shit about, <laughs> you know, like with the when he ate the The fucking computer yeah. shit. That's why he sounds all the robotic and shit. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. With the wiggler. Yeah, uh, me. That episode was crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. That's when I thought the show was many nigga. I was really like, the wigglers what made you think yeah. that. <laughs> Wasn't it the little thing that kept spitting out all this yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it was dying so and, shit. and the foot yeah. episode too. The foot episode when he turns yeah, when to he turns foot. To yeah, foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, a little yeah. strange for that me. That was too. a little. I was like, wow. Okay. That was a little crazy, yeah. yeah. And they started really tying the story together. Bro, can I read this, please? Yeah, it's good. What is I it? wanted to read the Lich's line. Good. Bro, all right. I'm going to do my best Lich. And then you, you want to do your best Lich? I'll try to do my best Lich in person. Right, okay, right, okay, right, okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to try to find a different Lich quote and then you, oh, okay. you do one. You know what? Like, I kind of want you to go first. I kind of want you to go first, Loki. Oh, you I got to find, gotta find a good Lich quote. So you want me to do it while you're looking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me read this. All right. So he goes like this Fall. You are a lone child. There's only darkness for you and only death for your people. These ancients are just the beginning. I will command a great and terrible army and we will sail to a billion worlds. We will sail until every light has been extinguished. You are a strong child, but I am beyond strength. I am the end and I have come for you, Finn. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. That was hard. <laughs> Come on, bro. That nigga Lynch was spitting, bro. How about this? this is the Joe Pass one? Go ahead. It goes. <clears throat> go ahead. Go ahead. I got to try to do a good one. The spawn of life and death is a creature without purpose, <gasps> fit only to be a pawn in my eternal quest to end all life. Whoa. Tell dude. me that's not a hard ass quote. And this was in a cartoon. This is a kid's show. Come on, bro. Like, that is so <laughs> wild. What does he even mean? They got away man? with a lot of shit on Cartoon Network. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Even just, like, the way he even did that, bro. Like, in the show, like, when yeah, he does it, he's yeah, like, yeah. Oh. And then Finn, them like. Mm. I think one of the most haunting things is when he kills a uh, human Prismo. Oh, where yeah. Where he's holding him and shit. Yeah, and he, Like, bro. this black smoke comes out of his fucking yeah. mouth and shit. Yeah, that shit was. I'm telling you. Even the way he, when he possesses Billy. That was so, so haunting, bro. You know so I mean? that means like he killed, he killed Billy, Billy, bro. Yes. That was. That's what I'm saying. Like Finn has been through the most shit out of yeah, any bro. character, I think, because like he that was his hero. Yeah. Hey, you know what's even hard? Um. So you finished the new Fiona and Cake? Uh, I think they have like two more episodes that are gonna come out this oh, week. Okay, but um, you probably seen this part, but I thought this was hella dope, and I just heard about it. I was like, bro, that adds onto the lore so perfectly, and I love that they did this. Apparently, there's a new villain that like. Um, stops Prismo or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. He's called like um. What is it called again? Um, but it looks like, isn't it called Scarab like, or something? Oh yeah, the yeah Scarab. Yeah, that's yeah, what it's yeah. called. Yeah. And um, I guess it has like a list of people that are yeah, what they call it. And pretty Finn's much like a dad. Bad, yeah, he's Finn's one of the dad's in there. He's like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, that's yeah, hard. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, you gotta really think about it. Finn's dad had to do some crazy yeah, to shit to be on that dude's list. To be on that dude's list, but he was able to kill Prismo. Yeah. You know. Spoilers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But is that not wild, yeah. bro? I don't know, man. That's interesting. As far as like, bro, that's perfect for Finn's yeah. dad, bro. I love that he's the one. To yeah, be fucking you know what I mean? flipping off the camera like that. Smiling really and shit. Yeah, that's you know? hard. Yeah, that's crazy that's as fuck. fuck. Finn looks just like his dad now, though. Yeah, that with the beard and all, the long hair and shit. Yeah, yeah I love sick. that. There's two different Finns. There's him and then Farmer Finn. Yeah, there's a Farm World Finn too, and yeah. he looks. I like the one thing I like about Farm World Finn. Even though he wears his little bear hat, he still wears he still a hat the, over yeah. the bear hat. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but I just thought that was so dope, bro. Like what he says to what's right there. He was just like, magic cat. It's like, oh, yeah. I don't dunk yeah. on magic. No, no, no. He said, you know, I don't truck with magic. <laughs> he said, truck with magic. I'm like, me dead, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I was with, like, yeah, bro. he's hard for that because, yeah, he fucking, he went through it, bro. I ain't gonna oh, me. You, bro. Yeah, because no, and then, you know, it's hard. I seen like an edit somebody did and they showed, and I was like, wow, I forgot. He wore the, the crown for a little bit. Yeah, that's what made him crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he started freezing everything and shit yeah. like that. He's like, the magic. What was he saying? He can't say that shit. I know. I forgot, but he was saying like, something. Power like, of ice. Yeah. Power of sight. Or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that shit was. Uh, that was wild, bro. Yeah, man. That was a fucking good show. Hopefully, that shit continues on for fucking ever, bro. Yeah. If it's good, I wouldn't be mad, bro. Because there's so much shit they could do with the Lord. There's shit that they still, like, talked about but never fully explained in the show, bro. Like, Gold or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. all these other characters and shit. So, it's like, they could go crazy with I mean, fucking shit. Abraham Lincoln's on the Mar on yeah, Mars. Yeah, he's fucking, yeah. He's the, the president, president of Mars. Mars. Yeah. Well, not anymore. He's dead now. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's wild. You know, all this shit. Yeah, bro. but, like, even how they, like, they could, they never explained how the fuck he, he got, got up there. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and was he ever on Earth? Or on Ooh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, don't, I think Earth 
was Earth at one point. Yeah? It so was you, regular oh, yeah, Earth because of the, the apocalypse. Mushroom yeah, before the mushroom war and shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Damn, we're going deep enough. Yeah, 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 but yeah hey, man. too much, too much. But uh, yeah, guys, we're probably going to end this episode. Actually, not probably. We are going to end this episode right now. Sorry for lying to you guys. You probably thought that I was you always, Every episode, I, I always lie. lie. Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm <laughs> such a fucking liar, dude. <laughs> can't help it. Can't yeah, help it. Can't help it, nigga. I'm a pathological mm -hmm. liar. But uh, guys, we love you. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Hope yeah, you guys yeah, like yeah, this yeah. episode, bro. We get into the spooky season, bro. Yeah, man. Drop down what y'all are gonna be for Halloween. I'm actually curious, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just to let us know, you know what I mean? Or you could do it closer to Halloween. We really don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's matter. either way. But uh follow us on everything. Same name, tb 4 y Podcast on YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, TikTok, all of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh yeah, man, ring that bell. We love you guys. Like the Subscribe, video, man. Like you know? the video. Show us some love, you know. Yeah, you guys been showing us love, so you know, we appreciate all yeah, that. Yeah, we love y'all getting our numbers up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.